Hey, what's up folks? So today I am checking out OpenGX and it seems like I've been living under a rock. I've been seeing all these advertisements and I've been seeing like the videos and stuff like, you know, the advertisements I see on YouTube and I've been thinking, wow, this looks really interesting. Unfortunately, there isn't a Linux version out there like WTF Opera, like get with the program. Well, hey, that's their business. But anyway, let's just check it out. Okay, so this is pretty much Opera GX out of the box. Like I said, it's only installable on Windows so far. And, well, that's just not cool. So let's take a look at the sidebar. You have a nice little pithy menu here. Kind of like the one that you're used to on the right-hand side if you're coming from Chrome. Um, you can do a lot of things You can check your downloads, go to your bookmarks. There's all kinds of things that you can do. Very cool. Then you can basically clean up your browser for like a faster, smoother experience. This is pretty cool. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. You can connect to Twitch here. This is really cool. And then you can see like who's on or whatever. That's, I have to say like, this is probably one of my favorite, uh, favorite features, mods. You can download cool mods for your, um, for, you know, kind of like the look, I think. Um, down here, I don't know what this is. Is this like that old Araya Pro? Oh, it's AI. This is cool. Okay. So we have kind of like a chat GPT kind of thing. All right. I'm definitely going to check that out. Then we can connect to all of our social media. We got Messenger, WhatsApp, uh, Telegram, Instagram, TikTok. I haven't gotten TikTok to work yet, but uh, I'm sure I will. And of course X and of course here I have connected to Spotify and I also have a crypto wallet here I can go to my history really quickly if I'm looking for something extensions settings and of course your shaders okay so now uh, you could probably enable workspaces for that. Oh, that's cool. Of course, we want chat GPT here. I don't know about chat Sonic because I've never used it. So there's that speed dial. That sounds like a pretty good one. Bookmarks, personal views, blah, blah, blah. Okay, actually, I think I like that right there. Bam. I'd rather have that in my panel. I don't know if I want like personal news, maybe, but I'm um, not certain of that. Downloads, I th think I got right. No, I don't. Okay, maybe I should. That's something that I'll, you know, consider maybe later. So this is really cool, this sidebar. This actually makes a lot of sense. And I've always kind of thought that for a long time. The only problem is, is nothing used to work in, you know, previous versions of Opera and Vivaldi. And I've always thought that the first people to get those things to work is probably going to have like a, a, a real advantage over the whole browser experience, especially for gamers and developers and that sort of thing. And so I think this is a really good step in the right direction. So let's go back to the settings. Uh, this is where things get kind of interesting as well. Not very complicated at all. So now you have exceptions, okay. So if you wanted to add, you know, whatever, you know, to block ads for whatever site, this would be the way to do it block trackers you can block manage lists anti circle okay so basically i'm not sure what this is actually I'll, I'll have to check that out but it's it seems like it's uh something tailored to you know basically just 
you know like when you search like it will search in kind of like the languages that you indicate and it will block the languages also that you indicate or something i'm not sure manage gx profiles this is pretty uh self-explanatory like you can choose a new number of these and there are quite a few color schemes i really like these color schemes then you have like a tile hover animation click animation so maybe we'll do this one here and then the sounds i've turned them off i don't like you know that kind of stuff like sounds and stuff like that when i when something happens you know like i, I don't like that at all game strips use gx messenger icons so on and so forth okay panic button web modding let's like take a look at that web modding lets you customize the appearance of your web pages ah that's cool now we got into like uh, security uh we can you know manage our cookies our browsing history and that sort of thing you can show the bookmarks bar I and mean, there's just so many things that we can do here so i think i put the bookmarks already on the site didn't i so let's see the chat gp where are the bookmarks right crypto bookmarks right so why don't we we probably can just get rid of that real estate right there and yeah really cool stuff oh let's see what advanced has okay yeah VPN stuff right so if you try their uh, VPN, then, um, you know, the only thing that I'm looking at here is you can't like connect to like, say something like NordVPN, who uh, that's who I go through. It's a lot of um, things to mess with and figure out. But honestly, when you're talking about having things at your fingertips, because like here, like if I wanted to check my messages before you go to Facebook, right? And then, you know, come up and maybe I did. I Maybe I want to talk to my dad, right? Now I got to allow it and then all of this stuff, right? Like that's all like really unnecessary. Like especially if I just wanted to talk to my dad, right? Go over here find my dad and then we face you know we facetime and honestly i'm really enjoying using this browser a lot this is this makes total sense i'm waiting for this to come on to linux because honestly this would be a complete travesty if we didn't have a linux version of this because it's pretty great okay so what do I think about OpenGX? Well, I think you already kind of figured out that I really like this and I really want to use this in the future. However, we need a Linux version. Like, I think that just goes without saying. Like, a big portion of Opera users or the Opera user base comes from Linux, comes from the open source community. Now, let's just be technical for a moment. Opera isn't exactly open source. There's Vivaldi, which is very similar. And here's the thing. I've always thought that Opera and Vivaldi had really good concepts. The only thing is, I couldn't exactly make it work correctly. What I'm seeing right now with all the social media and different things on the sidebar, all of that works pretty much out of the box. Yeah, I had to fuss with it a little bit. But it wasn't horrible. Like when I used it before, like it kind of got in my way. But right now, it's very cool. And so I'm only hoping that the developers are planning on releasing a Linux version very soon. Because honestly, I really want to see this in Linux. What do I think of it? Well, as you can tell, I think the layout and a lot of things makes a lot of sense. Things seem to work correctly. I like it. Here's the thing. 
We don't have a Linux version. That's a big problem. The other problem, and I think this is the bigger one for a lot of Linux purists, is that it isn't completely open source. But, shocker, neither is Brain Browser or Google Chrome. But if you're a developer like me, you use those browsers every single day. Now, Firefox has a reputation of being open source, for sure. But I would argue, who's using Firefox these days? You know, I like Firefox probably as much as anyone. Unfortunately, I can't do a lot of my work on Firefox. I would love to use Firefox full time. I just can't. Now here is kind of a, you know, best of both worlds scenario where the layouts, the extensions, the plugins all make a lot of sense right out of the box. And I can just get my work done. I like this. I think it all just comes down to what your workflow is like and whether or not that would increase your workflow. I mean, at the end of the day, I think that's a big thing. Be sure to check out my next video on Garuda Linux. Thanks for watching.